everyone, Hot Mess Mom 68 here. It has been uh, forever since I made a video. Excuse me, since I made a video, I do apologize for that. Um, I did go away, as I told you before, and had surgery done, which I'm very thankful for. There's the beautiful scar that's going to be left. Um, and I'm still working on it and uh, going through hand therapy and getting better. If all goes well, I should be back to massage therapy soon, which I'm very excited about. Um, but I'm coming to you today because I wanted to show you that I went and got my nails done. I'm pretty excited. I actually had them paint them um, this time because it's kind of hard for me to use this hand and paint a lot. Um, still, so I had them do a top coat, um, base coat, excuse me, um, of red. It looks orange in the video, but it's a really, really bright red. Very, very pretty. Um, and what you see on the top coat are a see-through glow-in-the-dark nail polish that has bats and skulls in it. Um, if you can see the bats and the skulls, um, where I got those from was Walgreens, but I'm pretty sure you can get them from anywhere. They are sinful colors, glow in the dark. There's the bats, sinful colors, glow in the dark, skulls, and then there's another one I found which I absolutely love: is sinful dark, sinful colors, glow in the dark, moon and stars. Very beautiful. I think I'll probably use those some other time when it's not Halloween. Um, but I do, I have to warn you, like this is the first time I have ever used these colors that actually have the little, the little um, nail clingies in them. It's very hard. Like, as you can tell, I've only got one per coat. And I had to work really hard to get that coat um, to get that bat out of here or to get that skull out of here it's really really hard um, I have a best friend in um, New Mexico that has done these before and she was explaining to me that she has these little brushes all by themselves that she actually dips in the nail polish and will grab out as many bats as she can and then she coats her nails with the nail polish and then she puts the bats on afterwards. It, it took me a really long time. Like I was sticking the brush in here three, four times at a time just trying to get a bat out. And I was only able to get one per like bat and skull. It was, it's really nuts and frustrating. So if you get these, they're awesome. Don't get me wrong, they're very awesome but very hard to get the bats and the skulls out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same way with this, trying to get the moon and the stars out, but we'll have to see the next time I use them. So basically all I did is one coat each on the nails um, with the bat and the skulls. Um, and as far as I know, they glow in the dark. I haven't actually seen whether or not if they glow in the dark. Um, so I guess we'll see tonight. Uh, if they glow in the dark like it's not like my hands not dark enough to do it so I will see tonight if they glow in the dark and then I will confirm with you whether or not they did um, so these are my Halloween nails um, for the next week or so Halloween is on Monday and almost over but um, I don't know about you but I'm ready for Christmas and so we plan mm -hmm. on decorating for Christmas this yeah. coming weekend um, next weekend actually because this is already this weekend so next weekend we're gonna be decorating for Christmas um, but I wanted to show them to you I wanted to, to tell you how well I am doing um, how my hand is coming along it's still painful recovery wise um, and still hurts me a bit but I'm working on it um, thank you, all of you, for being so patient with me, and hope to see you soon. Soon. I can talk, really can. Hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.